fish. What we got here? What we got? Look at you. First one of the evening. I don't have my bait tank running yet, so we're just going to put him down there in the mirage drive slot. Y'all, I'm out here this evening here. It's about 7.15ish. I've got about 30, 45 minutes of daylight here. I'm out here to try to get some bait so I can go do some catfishing tomorrow. I've got my ultralight rod. I'm going to try to use some live bait tomorrow. So I'm going to get some bluegill or small white bass or yellow bass, whatever I can catch. Maybe some crappie for some back here. I do have my skipjack rods just in case I see any, but the limited amount of time I have to fish, I'm going to focus on... Oh, I missed one right there. I'm going to focus on the sure thing here with my short amount of time before dark. Just throwing this little jig and gulp minnow. It is a go-to bait, man. Never go wrong fishing a small plastic bait. It just imitates what they eat. There's fish. And what we got? A bluegill. It'll work, you know, bluegill. I've said it before, my catfishing video is not my favorite bait, but I'm wanting to use some live bait tomorrow. So it'll work. Where I'm fishing at, y'all, is just in the back of a creek. My kayak's sitting in a 11 feet right now. And I'm casting toward these down trees right here. Water temp back here, 65. It's April, I believe it's the 9th today. So, we get, missed one right there. Getting some active fish back here in the shallows in this warm water. Uh, what we got on here now? This one hit right in front of that dock. Another bluegill. Dang, all these bluegill that I've gotten thus far have been pretty decent quality. Still ain't filled up my bait bait well yet. But I'll get a few more of them and then I'll do it. I want to make sure I was actually going to get some tonight before I went through the trouble of doing that. Look at old goose up there on that dock. And little ugly things, loud, obnoxious. Up there, sitting on a nest. There's another bluegill. It's just a little one here. I'm gonna throw this one back. I know beggars can't be choosers, but I want a little bit bigger than that if I can. Oh, we got another one hooked up right here. Bluegill. Another small one. I'll let him go too. I want I want baits that are big enough that I can use my normal hooks and not kill them very quickly. So I need them to be six, seven inches to be able to tolerate them ten aught hooks that I use. Oh, 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 he's running with it, man. He was running with it. I didn't feel him. I just seen my line move. That's crappie. Heck yeah, man. Heck yeah. We'll use that tomorrow, too. I'm pretty sure he's going to keep. 
Yeah, that was a light bite right there, man. Light bite. I didn't even feel that thing. I just seen my line taking off. One inch gulp minnow along with a piece of grass there. Yeah, nice crappie. Let me get my board out and just measure and make sure he's legal. Yeah, he's legal. He's 12 inches. They just got to be 10 inches here. So we'll throw him in the live well and use him for bait tomorrow. Oh, we're going to drop him down there in the bucket in the live well. Let's get these bluegill. Throw them in there too. All right, y'all. Got my crappie and my bluegill moved over here to my bait well. Now let's get back to fishing here, see if we can get some more. This kayak, I'm in the Hobie Pro Angler now. I switch kayaks bear there back in the in the fall and this kayak has a big enough weight capacity and enough storage space that I can actually have a live well on it and be able to keep some baits alive so I had built me a 10 gallon live well last fall and since I was wanting to use some live bait on my next trip I thought I'd bring it with me out here today We'll keep them things good and lively for tomorrow. Oh yeah, yeah, look at that man. Oh man, this ain't no bluegill here, y'all. This ain't no bluegill here. Well, he's going where he wants to go, man. This is a good fish. I don't have a clue what he is. He's running hard. Oh, yeah, that's a skipjack. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. You're talking about blind luck and getting that. I can't just lip him in, though. I can't lip him in with two pound line. Not one that size. Let me just get hold of him here. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. The old skipjack. That's a good one too. <laughs> Brought my skipjack gear with me tonight and heck I don't even need it. Just need my ultralight rod. He has swallowed my jig though. I don't know if I'm gonna get that back out or not. No, I'm just gonna cut it and I'll get it tomorrow when I use him for bait. <laughs> Fish. what this is. I don't know what that is. Is that another crappie? Yep, it is. Another crappie. Let's land him here. Alright, man. Another crappie. I gotta measure this one. He's gonna be close. I don't know if he's gonna keep or not. But if he does, we're gonna take him. Yep, y'all. That fish right there, he'll touch the 10 inch mark. So he's legal. We're taking him. Let's see what this is now. That's another bluegill. He's big enough to work for bait. We'll go ahead and get hold of him here. We'll go ahead and throw him in the in the bucket. All right, y'all, I'm gonna knock out the closing of this video now while I still got a little bit of daylight left. You know, today's trip was just kind of just a very quick bait trip. Had about an hour of daylight out here and wanted to get me some live bait for my next catfishing trip. So I came out here, beat the banks in this creek and it got me several bluegill, got me a couple crappie, lucked into a skipjack that I'll end up using for cut bait uh, tomorrow. And, uh, you know, had some fun out here, man. Ultra life fishing, it's a lot of fun. There ain't nothing you can't catch with a small jig head and a one inch gulp minnow. Everything eats it. So I'm gonna get back to it here, make a few more casts before I end this trip. But I wanna go ahead, like I said, knock out this closing while I still got some daylight left. Anyway, guys, I'll see y'all in the next video. Thanks for watching.